And then suddenly I heard interference in my headphones and I knew they were not uh, far away. And shortly after we also heard the engines of the aircraft and it came dead on us, passed over us and disappeared. After about half an hour, the next plane with a guide, glider came and it came right to us correctly, turned and went away. The British troops never arrived at the rendezvous point. We got a message from uh, London that uh, both gliders in one of the Halifaxes had uh, crashed in the mountains. So that was the end of uh, the freshman operation. It was a complete disaster. The soldiers who survived the crash were rounded up and executed. The Allies' secret war against the heavy water factory was now exposed. To avoid detection, the commandos withdrew deeper into the Hardangavida. For weeks, perhaps months, they would have to live off a land where little existed but snow and ice. When this mission on the gliders failed, we had actually no supplies for uh, further stay in the mountains. So we were dependent upon reindeer. But at that moment, there were few or no reindeer at all in our area because of the wind directions. It was so very difficult to um, get to the reindeers. But the day before Christmas, uh, Jens, uh, he shot the reindeer. Jens learned that if you um, take the stomach of a reindeer, you get uh, vitamins from the reindeer moss. So we cut up the um, stomach and took out the, uh, the uh, reindeer moss or the contents and mixed it with blood and everything and made a nice... Uh, porridge uh, mixed with brain <laughs> and uh, uh, we were eating it and it probably saved our lives. So Christmas Eve we had a real fine party. Said that uh, we had a good time at uh, Christmas Eve. I remember well. You know your comrades outside and inside. Do you know what he is going to say before he opened his mouth? I had then endurance. I had the will to 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 hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to you hold on. They would have to hold on through the darkest months of winter. But each day, the Nazi supply of heavy water was growing, drop by precious drop. London had to make a move. A second Norwegian squad, specially trained in explosives, would drop onto the Hardangavide and join their comrades in an assault on the heavy water plant. February 16th, 1943. Under cover of night, the six new men landed. Now the commandos were ready to strike a blow against Hitler's A-bomb. If they could penetrate the factory's formidable and deadly defenses. To the commandos, the heavy water plant appeared impervious to attack. To reach the factory, the saboteurs had to cross a deep, narrow gorge. There was only one road in, over a suspension bridge. And the bridge was patrolled 24 hours a day by German soldiers. 
any direct assault would be doomed. But the chasm itself, with its steep, icy wall, lay unguarded. Some of us said we thought it was rather impossible to cross that gorge, but uh, it was decided that one should go down and find out. In daylight, I went down into the valley. I climbed down the gorge, crossed the river, and started climbing up on the other side. And then the same way back, up to my friends, up in the mountains, and uh, told the facts that it was possible to cross the gorge. You felt that uh, this may be uh, serious, very serious for you, and uh, you accepted that uh, you might not come true. And we climbed down the river and up on the other side. And our plan was to get in position for the attack by 11.30, because at 12 o'clock at night, there was a guard shift down on the suspension bridge. We wanted to see the German guards being relieved, coming up in the factory area and enter the barracks before we went inside. We all thought we would be discovered when we, we forced the gate, but nothing happened. Two of us carried a full set of charges. In case one should be shot, there should always be reserve. The task for the demolition team, to attach explosives to the heavy water cells located in a basement room. Meanwhile, their comrades on lookout waited. Each passing moment increased the chance of discovery. If we had been discovered, I knew that during such circumstances, you will have to act. So a shoot, if a, a shot would of course maybe spoil the whole operation. Inside, they overpowered a Norwegian workman. Holding him at gunpoint, the saboteurs placed their charges, pausing only to decide how much time they would need to escape before the blast. 